Hey. Hey, wet bear. Who hey, wet bear? What were some of the major selling points of the project for you? For me, it was these two. These were two of the major selling points. <laughs> um, <laughs> they were already attached when it was sent to me. And then Andrea Burloff as well and her script, that was the that was the third clincher. I just thought it was a really unique script that I, a story I hadn't seen before. For me, when I read the script, I was like, who is this Andrea Burloff lady? I have to find her. <laughs> I'm gonna be in this movie. I'm gonna work with her. And I hunted her down and I got, I'm in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the concept of the story. And then when I read it, I thought, I'm rooting for people that, and I'm not sure why, which for me is always exactly the kind of place I want to be in. And then when Tiffany came on and, and like in everything and meeting Andrea, knowing what a great writer and being part of her first feature as a director, like everything just seemed really appealing and exciting. So, and it, it, it stayed uh, true to that. If you could take home one piece or look, from your characters, what would it be and why? I would take home the disco outfit because I feel like I could still wear that wherever and it's kind of close to my white dress so I could like alternate between outfits. You could still wear that. I took home those patchwork pants because I love them. I love me a high pant with a flare. <laughs> <laughs> I took home the blue nightgown that I wear in the movie. It's a, I thought it was pretty and I like sleeping. So. <laughs> 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 I want to list some popular 70s trends, and I'd love for you to say whether you would wear them now. Cool. Oh. Okay. Bell bottoms. Yes. yes. Very flattering. Yes. Platform heels. Yes. Yes. Comfortable. Corduroy. Yes. 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 I love a baby cord. Yes. Makes your booty look nice. <laughs> <laughs> Patchwork dresses. Yes. yes. I mean, obviously. Come on. And then oversized sunglasses. Hell oh my yeah. God. Yeah. I want like two dinner plates. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like you can't get it big enough. Yes. What is the look that makes you feel your most powerful self or like a boss? Oh, when I'm uh, giving, uh, get, collecting the money from all the little uh, hoe houses or whatever, and I got the, like the leather jacket and the hat tilted to the side with the pants, That's like good. polyester pants with heels. Like, yeah, and I'm crossing the street, like, watch out. Like, that felt good. I think there's a white suit at the end that underneath it, nobody knew, but I had suspenders put on it and there were like braces on it and there was something so, it also showed just such a like evolution of where she was. And by that point, I think I was wearing like four, 1,400 pounds of jewelry, <laughs> which was so great. So and I had like lady lady nails and <laughs> like 20 rings on each finger. And I was like, I'm not afraid of this. Yeah. Like, I, feel, I felt pre like you put on that much and all that hair and then you're going out to kind of threaten people. I'm like, I feel pretty strong at You the took to it really well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all the did. jewelry and the nails, yeah. like surprisingly. Maybe too, too much. Like a little too well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for me, I loved, honestly, oh, it's, it's so boring, but the, the, the there's, there's like jeans. <laughs> Nightgown again. <laughs> God, you love it, Nightgown. <laughs> uh, there's just a scene where I wear a bell bottom jeans and a navy blue button down shirt. And, it, and it's it for one so of her first. Time. Yeah, and it's for one of her first, and boots, and it's one of her first hits. And it's just, it's so that she blends in. It's like a work outfit for her. She's probably going to throw out the, the shirt, you know, and that to me was like, that just felt very character driven. 